what is stress? Stress is basically one of the human motions and reactions that they have in response to special events or in some challenge. Stress in any situation that evokes negative thoughts and feelings in a person. The same situation is not evocative or stressful for all people and all people do not experience the same negative thoughts and feelings when stressed. The word stress means different things to different people. This word is a good thing and to others it's a bad thing. People use many different ways to reduce their stress. Stress is the body natural response to challenge. When a student experiences high level of stress or chronic stress regardless of her age or grade, it can interfere with her ability to learn, memorize, and earn good grades, as well as lead to poor physical, emotional, and mental health. By learning about common procedures, a parent can help to mitigate negative or chronic stress in a child's life. Based on our study, we found that there are various factors that cause stress among the students of University Kebangsaan Malaysia. The factor is depend on individual, but based on the finding of a study, we found that the most of the stress caused by the learning itself rather than other factors such as family, relationship, and other external factors. This is what we can call as academic pressure. The first factor that causes stress among the students based on our research is a lot of assignment. This is happen when students have so many assignments that they have to do when lecturers give so many things to do and at the same time, they ask the student to submit it as soon as possible. When there are too many assignments, students can't manage their time wisely and this is can cause stress among students. The second factor of stress is happen during exam corner. When the exam is around the corner, students will try hard to study and do a revision in order to answer their exam very well. At this situation, students will feel pressure when there are too many things that they have to read. This is also called stress when they try hard to study but they can't understand one of the subject. In this case, students will feel stressed because they want to obtain a high grade in order to make their family happy. Next, stress also happens because of profession. When students have too many things that they have to focus at the same time. For example, students have to study, but at the same time, they also have to involve themselves in college program to obtain, to obtain a merit point. In this case, students feel stressed because when there are too many things that they have to do in the same time, they can't manage their time wisely. Students will feel stressed because both of it is important today. If they don't go to the class, they will get scored by lecturer. But at the same time, if they don't join the college program, they will not get a merit point. Students stress because they don't know what to do since both of it is important to Lastly, the factor that cause stress among the students is about time managing. Students feel stressed because they can't manage their time very well. This is because they have so many things to do. Then, students also usually let go to sleep. When this happens, they will lack of sleep and this can cause stress among students because when they lack of sleep, they will get angry and stressed easily. Plus, students also have to involve themselves in so many programs. This is can cause stress among students. Our second objective is about the effect of stress towards students. Based on our interview session, most of respondents say that stress will affect on their sleeping time. They who is stressed cannot get enough sleep. This is happen because they stay up to study at late night or they stay up to finish their assignment. For example, 
when students get pressured with their assignment, then they prefer to finish their assignment quickly, so they able to victim their time sleep to finish the assignment. The second effect of stress is loss of concentration in class. The student who does not get enough sleep, it will make their mind cannot think in a right way. Their brain that not get enough rest will make the student cannot pay attention in their lecture. Loss of concentration in class also can occur because students think other things in their mind. So, they cannot pay attention to other things. This situation will give more pressure on the student because they cannot get and understand their lecture. The third effect of stress is depression. The student who is stressed, they cannot control their emotion nicely. They like to be angry and quiet at all times. Depression will produce unbalanced hormone towards students who is stressed. People surrounding try to avoid with them because of their attitude that makes people uncomfortable. The last effect of stress based on our interview is they will become more apart from their social life. Their communication with people surrounding will reduce. They most likely to be alone. One of our respondents said that she will avoid to hang out with her friends because it just wastes her time. In addition, she said that her friend does not understand her situation. Then, she chose to be alone to solve her problem. But, it will become more stress because she don't want to share her problem. In conclusion, stress can make students not get enough sleep, loss of their concentration in class, getting depression, and become more apart from their social life. When you are feeling stress, there are some ways on how to overcome stress. Firstly, have a good time management. Create a life schedule. Whether it's a peanut planner, a timetable or a calendar on your phone, find an organizing tool that works well for you and add your list of priorities to it. Think about when you are most alert so that you can play your study period around these times. Find time for socializing but also make sure that you get enough sleep. Most people need between 7 to 8 hours sleep every night to remain focused and alert during study periods. Adequate sleep is a key part of a healthy lifestyle and can benefit your heart, with mind and of course can release stress from thinking more about many problems in life. Besides that, eat well balanced meal. It can release our stress. We all know that eating right can help you maintain a healthy weight and avoid certain health problems. And also it can affect on your mood and sense of well-being. Eating well can even help you to manage your symptoms and regain control your life. Eat the food, follow the pyramid food. It can keep your healthy of body. Moreover, the other way to really stress is pray, especially as a Muslim. Pray is one of the five fundamental requirements that a Muslim is obligated to perform. There are many benefits of Salah described in the Book of Allah. So, when we get stressed, don't forget to perform a Salah. This is because it gives good benefits especially for our physical body which provides a form of relaxation to our entire body. Pressure is supplied on the body parts as if it was a kind of massage which release tension. So, don't forget to seek help from Allah to make our journey easier and Beside that, listen to music also can reduce our stress. The soothing power of music is well established. 
it has a unique link to our emotion, so it can be an extremely effective stress management tool. Listening to music can have a tremendously relaxing effect on our minds and bodies, especially slow and quiet classical music. This type of music can have a beneficial effect on our psychological functions, slowing the pulse and heart rate, lowering blood pressure, and decreasing the levels of stress hormones. In a conclusion, stress has an advantage and disadvantage. If people will handle stress effectively, this can provide a lot of advantage to people. But if people will not handle stress effectively, this may lead a lot of problem to people. Stress is a common problem in a modern life. Stress is a normal quantity of everyday life and there is no way to escape. So, people need to learn how to effectively to manage the stress. Consideration to simple job project ideologies able to improve the situation that could be the reason of stress. At a different level, human resource professionals have short workspace on managing the pressure to relieve the employees to cope with stress and evade and over exposure to the circumstance that can increase the strain. There are more and more causes of stress, including money, social relations, and exam. However, they are unavoidable parts of our life. Instead of feeling nervous, we should enjoy our life and always think positively. Students who do not feel helpless will adopt their own coping strategies. After all, college students have a lot of stress. There's no denying it, but college is what we make of it. If we stay focused and balance our life, we'll feel much more relaxed and healthier when it's time to wear our cap and gown. Now, that's an equipment we have earned for life.